Hi everyone, here's another video for you on Foundation for Emails. And this time we're going to talk a little bit about kind of modularizing some of your content. And if you've been using this system for a little while, especially in a production environment, uh, the designers that you work with have probably come up with some sort of a theme that you're going to use. Um, and you'll have some repeating elements that kind of from a structural standpoint seem the same every time. They may have different images or different text, uh, different links, obviously but the overall you know, structure of the page is going to be the same. So uh, I've got a sample email here. This is showing in a browser. Um, I've got everything running as we normally do. Um, so whenever we make a change to the system, it'll automatically recompile it and refresh the browser. So we've got this kind of basic email. It's got a header, some text, um, a full width image here, and a couple columns of content with buttons uh, and, a little, and a footer. So we've got, uh, you know, your usual stuff. So let's take a look at the code for this. Uh, what we've got here, uh, we've got a, just a really basic uh, structure for, the, for an email. Um, and what we've got here is our normal, you know, what we normal partial for a footer. And that's, if you've done this for any length of time, you've probably already discovered how useful partials are. And today we're gonna to take it one step further with those. Um, one of the ways we can use partials is by passing uh, field value pairs into that partial. So it's not just an include file, but almost like a, I don't want to say a function, but it, you, you are parameterizing it to a certain degree. So in this content, let's take a look at the email here. You got this header, you've got a, you know, the graphic header, you've got some uh, title, text, a full width image, and then a couple of columns. Now this full width image here, um, if you've done a series of campaigns, what you've probably done is gone back to your previous emails you've created and cut and pasted content. Uh, it just kind of comes with the territory in some ways, uh, especially if you've got a whole bunch of them that just vary slightly in the layout or just the images that are used. Uh, problem is, in some cases, those slight variations <laughs> or the cutting and pasting causes some problems. Uh, you'll miss a character, you, you know, typo something, it always comes a problem. So to keep things a little more modularized and reusable, especially if you have a team of people that are kind of trying to use things, one of the nice ways to do this is uh, passing variables to a partial. And for that full width image, that's kind of what we've done here. Um, as you'll take a look here in the code, we have normally the code for a partial, but right below it, I have you know, a field and then a value that I'm passing into it. So just like with the page variables that we have at the top, the, you know, the front matter, the YAML front matter for this stuff, um, we'll kind of, instead of using the, those variables, we're actually passing these variables into the partial. So on the other side of the screen here, this other pane, I have the code for this partial. And it's really simple. And all we've done is included, using, using the same handlebar format, the name of that variable that we defined when we called the partial. And it simply, when it compiles, it, it does the replacement and generates the code for you. So the output code still renders this image for us. You know, if we change it up a little bit, which is nice, we don't have to go into that partial to make any changes. Everything stays the same. So if we just want to change the image, we can do that. We save. And now we have a new image loaded. So it's a great way of modularizing things a little bit. Um, so it makes it a lot easier to find the, the parts of the email that you want to be able to change out quickly. So let's take a, let's make another one just so we can, I'll show you how to build one. And in this case, I've got these two columns in the email and I'm going to, they're all both the same. So I want to be able to parameterize those a little bit. So I'm going to have a row here. I'm going to leave the row intact because say we want to have, you know, three columns or something, we can parameterize stuff. But for the sake of an example, I'm just going to copy that stuff over here and we've got all these parameters here and what I'm going to do is just start dropping and replacing values on 
just going to put image URL here. And then we'll have our text. I've got to keep the naming consistent. I'm kind of doing this on the fly here. The URL, we can drop that in as well. And we'll put the button text as another one too. Okay, so that's it right there. Let's save that. And I'm going to save it in my partials as a column block. Oops, it didn't take here. Hang on. Column block. Easy enough. Now we have a new partial over here. And to use it, all we have to do, we already have the column in here, so let's take that out. Use column block. I usually kind of drop it down like that. And the first I just realized I'm going to have double names there. There we go. I had to fix that. Made that image block image URL. So I'm going to bring that over here. And because both of these blocks were the same, I could just kind of do this with it. And if we need more than one, there's no separator needed here, no comma or semicolon. You just go ahead with the next one. So I'm going to say block text. And I'll just bring in some extra text here. Oops. And block URL. And the reason why I'm cutting and pasting these so I don't mess up the names by mistake. One of the problems with cutting and pasting is, well, I should say one of the problems with typing is you'll get some typos and then wonder where the error came from. Okay, so let's save this and try it out. See if we get an error. Oh, we got an error. Column block could not be found. Let's see, where did I put it? Oh, I think I gotta I gotta save this. There we go. All right, and here we are. We've got one block here and another block here. Now the the lengths are the alignment's a little bit off because of the text, but we can if we want to make another one rather than re copying and pasting and then retyping the content in there. If we do that. We can save it, and away it goes. And we can even change the image on another one of the two of them so we can tell them apart. And there you have it. So it's a great way to modularize things. Um, these blocks then can be reused um, just like any other partial. But because you've got these parameters in here, um, it makes it a lot easier to find the particular piece of content you want to edit without disrupting any of the HTML around it. So. So that's it. I hope you found it useful. Um, you can build up whole libraries of these, depending on the themes you're using, and uh, include them in your projects. So hope it helps. Have fun.